you've probably heard a lot about climate change. The changes in climate that are happening today are to a large degree caused by us humans. Our activities are changing the balance between how much energy the Earth gets from the sun and how much it can get rid of. The Earth gets energy by absorbing some of the incoming sunlight. It gets rid of energy by sending out heat. When the energy we get from the sun balances the energy emitted by the Earth, we get a stable average temperature. Emitting the gas carbon dioxide is an important way that we humans influence climate. The more carbon dioxide there is in the atmosphere, the more heat is absorbed, and this results in the planet warming up. Up to about 1900, agriculture, deforestation, and land use were the main human sources of carbon dioxide to the atmosphere. After 1900, burning fossil fuels like coal and oil became the dominant source. Our use of fossil fuels really took off in the 1950s. Today, fossil fuels and industry are responsible for about 90% of the carbon dioxide we emit to the atmosphere. During the same time, the average temperature of the Earth has increased by almost one degree centigrade. This may not sound like much, but remember that the last time the Earth's temperature was a couple of degrees warmer, sea levels were about six meters higher. Global warming means that extreme weather phenomena like powerful storms, floods, or droughts that are rare today will happen more often in the future. Sea level rise means that people who live in coastal areas will be hit more often by flooding, and some places will disappear entirely. Changes in precipitation due to a warming climate will impact agriculture and food production. The situation is serious, but that does not mean we should give up. The best thing that we can do is to stop emitting so much carbon dioxide. Or we could see that the carbon dioxide that we do emit is taken up by plants or through technical means. We emit carbon dioxide when we drive our cars, take a plane ride, or heat our homes. Food, clothes, Mobile phones and other products use fossil fuels in their production and transportation. Not many of us want to go without food, clothes, or mobile phones. So how can we achieve a carbon dioxide neutral society and still keep the things that we like? We need everyone's ideas. None of us can solve the puzzle alone, but together we can build a cleaner, more just society where success doesn't depend on fossil fuels. A society in harmony with nature, where the economy and the environment go hand in hand. Why not start now?